States Army. Mr. Parr was in the Army, as I said. And uh, he was in the South Pacific, mostly, uh, with the Japanese. He was no hero fighting the Japanese. <laughs> he was so far back at the Japanese lines, he was afraid of being bombed by the Nazis. <laughs> His main job in the Pacific was uh, digging latrines. Do you understand that? <laughs> and uh, at one island in Munda, they, uh, they built an officers' club there. There was no women there at the time. The Japanese were... Uh, about to leave and uh, they built this officers club and then they were bringing in the Red Cross girls and our nurses and uh, they asked Mr. Parr to dig a latrine for the women they had never had something specific before and so they dug this latrine Mr. Parr had dug these jungle powder rooms all the way to Japan as a matter of fact <laughs> and uh, the next uh, night when the first little Navy nurse came in to the new latrine she went in and she came out screaming. And an officer, American officer, said, well, what's wrong? It's brand new. We just built it for you. He said, well, I don't know. You go in there and look and you'll see. And he did. And he found a little radio loudspeaker under the seat there. <laughs> and they traced the wires and about a block away was a private with a microphone. The officer says, what in the hell do you think you're doing? And the kids are just having fun, sir. Whenever a girl goes into the latrine, I say, hey, lady, move over. We're painting down here. You know what I'm going to do for you, Charlie. I hope so. <laughs> uh, yes, but I forgot. I thought he was going to say I was going to Oh, we have a Now we leave things out. What the hell? Make a better show. You understand? Fuck, 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 fuck. I don't know the lines. Well, <laughs> She knows the words, though. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do for you? I have a hunch now. <laughs> Turn off the tape. Cut the tape. No, no. Why, let's toast that with some tapioca pudding. Ooh, tapioca pudding, yeah. yeah. Oh, you got a spoon. Give me a spoon there, will you? Yeah, you got some cream with you? Oh, hey, you know, jam. Let's jab me. Hey. Yeah, a little cream there. A little cream? Squirt them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Oh, Charlie. Hey, a little more, Charlie. Thank you. Go right ahead, boys. Don't let anyone trouble you. Go right... At this point, little... Uh, Heimlich, uh, he was carrying the torch now. Uh, he had it. He had it real bad, see. But nonetheless, he was. He was still screaming out all these ridiculous cheers for these people. Long live the name of Heinrich Hickel, the man who gave us sour pickle. Boy, they cheered. They. They yelled. <laughs> oh, here's the guy with lots of class. Because I think he's on. Well. And <laughs> Everybody from the horizontal position. But I say, if you're going to be greeted this way, it's best that you be in the same position. Don't you think so? Now, uh, don't look at the books, men, uh, because uh, we don't have too many in the bookcase. I want you to pay close attention, however, to the set T. I say, if you're going to be greeted in this position, you do the same thing. So now, while we're stealing in, uh, you can steal into your position. That's right. Yes, down there at the feet. Yeah, oh boy, you're way ahead of me. Well, the idea is now, you sneak under that set T. That's right. Are you comfortable? Fine. Now, keep your mind off the book, fellas. The idea is to uh, get yourself set. Now, it might be a little uncomfortable, a little cramped under that set T, but now you're set, right? Okay, now lift your head, look straight into the eyes of your hostess, if you can. And, uh, well, now, uh, Debbie, why don't you help us out and lift the other foot? Yes, bring them both up here. No, 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 not that way. I mean, both at the same time, because, you see, our friend down there is getting his hair all mussed up. No, if you lift him... No, honey, honey, listen. Lift them both. That's right. Now, you see, fellas, if you are in the proper position, you will get a back massage, and at the very same time, you can carry on a conversation with your hostess. In this case, lovely Debbie Drake. Isn't that wonderful? Huh? 
Of course, she could be very cooperative and open the book to, uh, 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 well, you know, just open the book to a favorite chapter, and you can read and talk and, oh, have lots of fun all at the very same time. <laughs> well, now let's see here. Here's one of the fellows that read and talked and had his back massaged all at the same time. He's now looking for a psychiatrist. Well, let's go back to uh, Debbie's playroom. I think there's more fun there than on the road, don't you? All right, now I guess everybody is tired of uh, the back massage. So why don't we just let Debbie uh, do what she wants to do for a moment while we go out and get a good stiff drink. <laughs> no, fellas. No, those aren't real plants. Huh? You see, the idea of this exercise is to limber up the leg muscles just in case uh, you might have to square away with a tough hombre and uh, you might want to give him a headlock or, you know, I mean, it's always a very good idea for a gal to be limbered up just in case of an emergency. You know, in these times when, uh, well, you know, big bad men are roaming the countryside, why, a girl never knows. Now, uh, Debbie here says that uh, you fellas can do this every morning, and uh, it'll work wonders with your uh, constitution. Now, if, uh, if your wife will let you, you can get into this position. Or better yet, why don't you let your wife get into this position? Now you see it, now you don't. Now you see it, and now you don't. Now you see it, and uh, now you don't. This is very good for the uh, back muscles, the lower part of the back muscles. And of course, it's uh, very nice to just look on if you're one of those types. Now you see it, and now you don't. Now you see it, and now you don't. Now you see it, and now you don't. Isn't that great? I mean, you could probably write a tune that uh, will go with this rhythm. But after all, who needs tunes? Yes, that's real leather, fellas. That uh, hassock was uh, imported from uh, Hasakia. This gal never tires, believe me. Oh, she can go on like this all day. Really. Now, she's killed four directors. Well, I mean, you know, they see these exercises and uh, day in and day out, and, uh, well, you know how it is. Papi says, how about a little spending money, and Papa's giving him a lecture along with him. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. What fun is it giving if you can't give a little lecture along with him? That's right. You can easily tell that he doesn't mean it, though, and he's going to give him the money that he hasn't got. Well, Dad, you're the end, I'll tell you. <laughs> and Dad looking pretty angry. <laughs> Let's go with a little bit there. Really, it's a pushover on the inside, I guess. Hey, you're beginning to get the sign language. Oh, there goes Sonny off to the wars. Ah, to be young and handsome again, Father says. To enjoy life, liberty, and the pursuit. <laughs> See what I mean? I know just how he feels. See how simple it is? But you're supposed to be a stranger here. You're not supposed to dig that. I've been here... And if I paraded around like her, how would you like to be married to that? Married to that. Married to that. Married to that. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no, kiss, 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 kiss. 